Hey guys, this is the Ad at Chat, and if you are new here, please subscribe and hit the like button to stay updated on my latest content. So today I want to do something a little different. I want to propose a theory about Snoke. I know, I know, normally I think that speculation and fan theories can taint our experiences of these films, but I also think that it's completely normal fan behavior to just ponder over the very thing you love. Obsessively. I can't stop thinking about something that just dawned on me for the first time after watching The Force Awakens for the 6,000th time. The Force Mind Read, or as it's officially called, Mind Probe. I'm only going to stick with official canon right now. The only people so far that we've seen use this are Kylo Ren, Snoke, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader and the Inquisitors to a lesser degree. According to the wiki page, Darth Vader uses this power um, when he learns that Luke has a twin sister. Now, for me, yes, this is probably a little bit of a retcon for the uh, new canon so things can retroactively make sense. The power allows, and I quote, the user to sense or sift through the thoughts of the victim, seeking useful information. The mind probe was highly invasive and could potentially cause those beings to experience great discomfort to the point of extreme pain, making it useful in torturing subjects that attempted to resist. In the sequel trilogy, Kylo Ren is the first person we see using this ability. He uses it successfully on Poe, and then unsuccessfully on Rey. You know, due to Rey's innate power in the Force, she's able to protect herself to a degree. In The Last Jedi, we see Luke Skywalker using this ability in the third flashback scene on Ben Solo. You know, here Luke is just trying to see what the hell is going on with his nephew, but he is still using the mind probe, which is said to be, you know, discomforting and can cause extreme pain, so of course his nephew would wake up during this moment. And then finally, we see Supreme Leader Snoke using this ability on Rey in his throne room to get information out of her on Skywalker, and he's extremely successful. Successful. So why do I think Snoke taught Luke this power? Well, there is a quote from the novelization that I want to read right now. And so Snoke had drawn upon his vast store of knowledge, parceling it out to confuse Skywalker's path, and snare his family, and harness Ben Solo's powers to ensure both Skywalker's destruction and Snoke's triumph. Now the endgame he had foreseen was at hand. In the novelization, Luke and Snoke have met, and Snoke actually respects Luke because Luke is actually searching for answers on the origins of the history of the Jedi rather than just jumping right back into the Order as it once was. As the uh, stupendous wave put it, and go check out that channel, it's excellent. Luke is trying to improve the Jedi Order. Since it's never mentioned if Luke or Snoke met in person, it could be argued that it was a mind connection for Spawn similar to Kylo and Rey, but even that's more speculation, so I will leave it at we just have no idea how they met yet. Knowing that Snoke has been watching Ben Solo and trying to confuse Skywalker's path, it would make sense to me that Snoke taught Luke the mind probe knowing that Luke wouldn't be able to stop himself from looking into Ben's mind. He would be curious to see what's going on with him because, as he has stated, he had sensed darkness during his training. I think Snoke made the ultimate chess move. Yes, I am a chess player, I love chess, so I love thinking about these really long end games, right? So Snoke is slowly turning Ben, as well as teaching Luke the very thing that would finalize Ben's turn. If anything, in my mind this really just solidifies my belief that Luke was in no way some murderous coward, um, but just another accidental pawn in Snoke's long game, just like Kylo. Now, if this is true, it really intrigues me and adds yet another layer to the sequel trilogy that we haven't really even thought about, and that would be espionage. So yeah, this is my theory. I think Snoke taught Luke the mind probe and set Luke up to turn Ben Solo knowing that this event would occur in the future. The one successful future read by a Force user. For now, take this theory with a grain of coarse sand and at at signing off.